Hello everyone, I'm Rob Smith, the Smith and the Black Channel here, Ticker Talker, and it's halftime, it's the Strat Time Report. And, so, uh, what we got going on here is, uh, since it, yesterday's vol spike with the tweets and whatnot, you can see the spy tanked yesterday in the afternoon, and what that did was, uh, when you have a vol spike like that, what that's going to cause is uh, a lot of stocks to look the same, a lot of charts to look the same. Uh, do the futures cash arbitrage. Everybody gets out of the way. And then uh, when we come in today, you'll see them, natural buyers and sellers, start to go different places. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that. Because right now, you've got the SPY gapping back into an outside day, no, going inside day. So the future's doing nothing, right? And so we can get this back and forth kind of action here when you have the inside month here in the lower middle, right? Going back and forth. Nobody's really in control just yet. So uh, we are taking out last week's high slightly in the SPY. Uh, but coming into tomorrow, I want to know either side of this day. That's what I really want to know about. We might not, we might get out of there, but we'll see. Because if you go here, you're also going to see QQQ, like so, outside inside day. QQQ still inside week, right? And still inside month, right? All that kind of stuff is going to matter going forward. Uh, if we go to, so we want to go to where the action is, right? So what we do know is Labu. Labu here on the upper middle, you're going to see this, right? The inside week to the upside, breaking through all that stuff, right? You're having a nice green day. If we go to our 60, might get an inside 30 here, but 60 still making higher highs. You can see it comes out of here, goes inside 60, and then gaps up on it here down in the lower left, right? And we're going to take the, try and take out last month's high, right? That's a two down because it took out previous lows. I'll get my pointer for you. And comes back up, and that also takes a little good IBB, here right so we've got our buy signal because that's something we look for right the two down take out the lows then take out the highs now the magnitude was to take these guys out which it did the question is going to be strong enough to go all the way up here well well the good thing about that is we can go through the stocks uh, all those kind of related stocks you got q d e l monster get and so we've been watching this because it was inside year and up it's also inside month and up so you can see this here in the lower left after coming off the inside week the two, two, one, 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 two to the upside and still going. And so they're having a nice day there. It's cute. We'll see if that lines up again. Uh, you got crisp here. Crispy. Let me write something down here. Crisp. Crisp. Once again, two up, two down. Boom. Now, now we're looking to try and take out these highs, right, for this month. And you can see it's t does poke down a little bit on the week, and then boom, back to the previous range. That's what we like. We'll see if that sets up again, like a lot of things stalling out. You just want to be aware that the futures are potentially inside day because that can stall a lot of things out, but we'll see. If we go to TXG, TXG taking out last month's highs and just steamrolling into the new highs, so it's exhaustion risk. We like to come back to previous range, but we're going to stick. You can stick with the strength until it's not strong no more. You got Alexion. Here, an Alexion, you can see this taking out last month's highs, right? Two week inside pattern up in the middle, right? So both of these were inside, so that becomes a compound inside bar. And so I took that out and go into the highs. You can see that get, right? Now coming up in here and pretty strong here on the 60s. So you're going to have to weasel your way in, but we'll see if they give you an opportunity. If you pull out the monthly, You'll see this big formation here, broadening formation coming back through, all this kind of stuff. So that's a real good thing to keep an eye on Alexion here. If we go to O N T L A. N T L A, you can see this, Revstrat weaker, inside, down, boom, back through these guys like that. Now trying to go outside month to the upside in the lower middle. Like I said, a lot of these things coming out of the gate pretty fast, so we'll have to see if they can give us any corrective activity. If we go to Sarepta. Sarepta. Inside day to the upside in the upper middle. Still inside week and month, so we'll be aware of that, but we're just watching a whole gang trying to pick up some steam at the same shot. That's good, because when you see that, um, when you see buying across the board in one sector, that tells you that institutions are spreading out their bets. They're not concentrated in one company. They're saying, buy, buy me a little bit of everything and we'll see what works, right? So if you go to Twist, the Twist here, just more launch pad taking out last month's highs, so we'll see if we can get any corrective activity to hop into something like that. We've got Edit, 
EDIT. Also here, taking out last week's highs, that's a 2-2 reversal here in the upper middle. It's a potential three-month down into here. But like a lot of these things, they took it gangbusters out of the chute, and we'll see if they set up again. You can see here on the daily, like so. Now the question is, can you come up here and take out this highs and form the broadening formation daily? Uh, if we go to... Well, everybody likes a little tack. Let's go to Netflix. And Netflix, taking out last week's highs. Still handily inside month, but nice and green. Just taking out some recent highs in here, so we'll see if we showed some early strength. If we go to Peloton, still going. And I mean, we've been all over this ever since here on the monthly, the 2-2 reversal. Still going, no reversal on the month ever since taking out 29.32. We've also talked about this continuation pattern. Taking out the high, taking out the loan, and then coming back through here. That's still good. Uh, a little exhaustion risk because it's going into the highs, but still working. Uh, if we go to LVGO, going back to some health cares, LVGO, trying to take out the inside month here. All right, so above 144, stuff that we want to know about. And taking out some highs, just stalling out here a little bit on your 60 after a spike up. Pod, P-O-D-D. And PODD, here's something you look for, and there's, I talk about major reversals, but this is also another type of reversal. When you have something that's engulfing, like this, red, and then it takes that to the upside, because this is a reversal to the downside, then this reverses that reversal back up to take out all that stuff, see? So that's taking that into the highs. We'll see if that sets up right now. Maybe get a 22260, we'll see. If we go to solar. Solars, FSLR, here. Solar, taking out the month here the, on the monthly. Here is our 2 2 reversal weekly. Pokes down, then boom. Still good. Now we're going to take these guys out to form the broadening formation. Like a lot of things, coming firing out the chute. That tells us to go down the food chain, see what else we can see. JKS still going. And you can see this. We call that the Momo Hammer. Anybody got short in here, hoping it rolls back down. Ran into a freight train of full time frame continuities this morning. Boom, now you got short covering combined with real buyers going into the highs. CSIQ, how you doing, buddy? CSIQ trying to join the party. Momo Hammer Month here. And we got short last month. I think it's going to roll over, do you? Bam, real buyers and short covering going into the highs. Uh, if we go to APLS, Apples. See, that had a spike up and see if that held. Now that's coming back in, so we'll see. Had a spike up and come back down. Now you got a big inside bar to, come to try and forming, and then you have to get out of that. Alexion goes to the highs as I speak, like so. And we've got, um, in the still going category, Sag. Still going. And once again, Momo Hammer Month. If the, I think it's going to roll back down, do you? To, bam! Real buyers combined with full time frame continuity to the upside. Combined with the daily Momo Hammer. You see that? I think it's going to roll back down with the market. Boom. There you go. Wrong. FSLY. And FSLY. Here's what we look for here. You can see the slight lower low on the month. Hammer. Boom. Right there. Takes that out over 98.97. This is an outside month. So we're looking to have that broadening formation grow because that's a slight lower low so we're looking to take this out like so that is 117.79 so you got a little three four bucks coming up and hopefully it keeps going on that like i said the future's really drying up here and uh <laughs> it is what it is um if we go to there's my pen enph enph Somebody might want to start looking for these things. Look at that. What's that? That's an outside Momo hammer. Bam! Just short. Anybody short thinking that's going to roll back down? Getting handed to them. All right? So that's something we want to look for. If we go to Roku. Roku. And Roku, not quite the Momo hammer, but taking out last month's highs. Exhaustion risk, like a lot of these things going into the highs. But right now, they are just jamming them. If we go to Etsy, now this is how it should work. Etsy, on the month, shooter hammer, 
two 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 continuation looking to take this out here 140 141 we're almost there you can see that after it broke 129 94 still going and once again we talked about this we did the inside bar of the poke down the rev strat now it comes back up to form that and now we're gonna go take these guys out so what the hopes is other things can do that i a r t alexion goes to the highest i a r t i art so you can see this here Shooter, hammer, boom. Now we're looking to form the compound outside bar. That's why this works, because we know outside bars exist. So hopefully we can get this thing up to take this out. Here, 5310 to come through all this kind of stuff here. We go to stamps. Stamps. Same deal, and that's way up there. That's that's good. So we can hope it's still good right now. Still 2 and on the day. Taking out the previous highs, and that's above 255.40. Now 271, still climbing. And this is all the way up to 325. Boy, get hit. If we go to Splunk, Splunk, if you take a look here, see, you can see here on the outside month, and it's still going to be an inside month, but it's bright green. You'll notice here the broadening formation, the higher highs. Then the lower lows, and I'm coming back through. If you go to the daily and take it out, you're going to see this. Like so. Here's the formation. Here's where they tried to knock them out. And now she's coming back through, right? That's something I'd want to know about right there. It's like if this broadens, we're going to go take that out. So we're going to see. keep an eye on Splunk. If we go to Okta, Okta, it did it. <laughs> it's just plain did it. And here, we've been watching this. Here's your rev strat hammer counter shooter. Where's it going, Rob? It's going to take out the outside bar. It did that. So now it's an outside bar extension here of the month, so long as it's still above 231.29, trading 237.46. Real nice, especially if you picked it up down here at 199.97. Goo hoo. And you can see they triangled them out here, too. 60. Oh, how they love to stop them out before they really move, don't they? <laughs> it's like, that's oh, resistance. I'm going to stay short. All right, that's, boom. Thanks for playing. Not sure if there's any news here, but Tesla heating up just a little bit. Tesla. And that's still going to be an inside day, so be careful on that. But starting to heat up a little bit. Maybe they're talking about something or something. If we go to Tandem. Tandem. Here is taking out all the previous highs. Momo Hammer monthly. That's why you might want to keep an eye on this thing too, because they 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 seem to be working. If we go to NVCR, NVCR is now inside 60. We've been watching this. There's that inside Momo Hammer on the weekly. We knew about that. Sure did. Yep, yep. Talked about it inside and then to the upside. So still going. We'll see if that 60 can get anything going. Tesla goes to the highs, and Lazarus come forth. Triple D out of the ashes here. <laughs> So trying to wake up off the inside week, reversal month, uh, and used to be somebody. That's kind of good. And that always tells us to look at SSYS here, going inside 60 on the inside week to the upside. So we'll see if these things are for reals, playa. Um, saw a little pop here in CSX. I'm not sure what's going on there. Not doing too much. On the downside, not too much going on. You've got AVB on the REITs, just doing this on the week or the day, 2-2 two -two reversal. You got Emerald Hus here, 3 2 day to the downside. Not too many of those. There's, there's potentially a lot of those, but not, not too many. LMNX, here you go, triangle out, and 2 2 reversal daily coming back through previous range to form the outside week, right? And full time frame count near the downside. It's a little quick, and we'll see if there's anything left in that. XPO doesn't about face during the middle of the day. I'm not sure what's going on there, but you got a big outside day there, so they kind of did what they were going to do. but once it starts tanking, you can just look for that inside 15, and there you go. NTES after a split, having some issues here, so that's a split, so that's not adjusted, but you can see uh, on the day trading near the lows. Right now, Tesla goes to the highs. Um, as always, my videos here at Smith and Black Channel and Ticker Talker are free, so check them out because uh, I talk about all this stuff before it happens. All right, everybody have a nice day. I'm Rob Smith of the Smith and Black Channel here at Ticker Talker with Strat Time Report.